Tilliedrone Community Council did a health survey around Tilliedrone. The most important thing came out, there was nothing for men over 26 and they had a lot of health issues and they wanted somewhere to meet. The M26 group is a place where men over the age of 26 who live in Tilliedrone can come who don't currently access services, maybe people are homeless, jobless, uh, maybe people have had previous or current alcohol or drug problems. It was to give them a, a purpose in life as well, uh, give them somewhere to go, somewhere they could call their own and get used to getting back into the community. The main purpose of the group is to get people um, who live in Tilly Joan, who currently are on access and other services, to come in at least do one thing each week to improve their healthy lifestyles through healthy eating, healthy activities, improve their place in the community by integrating themselves with other members of the, of the M26 group. It's their own group and they virtually run it themselves with the help of Graham and myself. Each week is um, a little bit of fun and madness all mixed into together to form a really good experience. The M26 group are developing an area that was gifted by the council to them and they're developing it into a, a garden plot with three raised beds and a barbecue area. I just had a lot of time on my hands and um, I just wanted to get out and be doing things again. Meeting up with folk and socialising again instead of just sitting in my house all day. Like it gives uh, people like yourself, myself, uh, stuff to do and it keeps them off the streets. You know? It keeps all all us off the street, none of us, none of us commit crime and stuff like that, Ken. Get me away from the drugs, and out of trouble, everything. Because it gives people that are not working over 26 years of age somewhere to meet up and to do things in the community and also with the trips that we go on are good. It just gives us something in our own lives and maybe to help enrich other people's lives. The idea of the project is for the guys to learn transferable skills, uh, to work as a team, to socialise and uh, really just have a good time, a bit of exercise as well. It's all theirs um, from the, the measuring the area to taking that area and designing what they want to put in it to actually coming out and doing the work. It was a, a couple of them in the group when we were standing outside said that they would like to do the, the project on the, on the waste ground. So we now share it with the school. The school's got half of it and the M26 do the other half. We all sat in the, in the M26 flat and we made a plan of what we thought the garden should look like. Luckily it was my plan that got chosen. <laughs> I think it's really important that the, these guys are coming together, they're making a statement that we are capable of working, that we have had and still have this kind of lifestyle we're trying to work through, but we're still working together and achieving a lot. And it's had an impact where they have a waiting list now uh, they have an intake of 16 and they have a waiting list on top of that about 10 so far. Today's task has been really heavy going. Uh, the one set of guys have been over there and dragged a huge bit of timber up, they roped it up, they dragged it in a team of four and now they're working on it to, to uh, make a seat, a, big, a large bench. We're also, uh, we've finished the second bed and planted that with wildflowers. We've covered the spuds in uh, a little bit of earth and they're starting on the third bed as well. Well, it's meeting the people that have probably walked past in the street and probably looked a bit weary and just thought, well, not my type at all. But as people that I've met through the group, it, I find out they are. I'm wee friends every day, again. I'm wee my mates. Again, it's, I just feel like we're just, Again, it looks hard work and all that, but it doesn't seem like hard work because we're all mates just getting stuck in and that's, and that's it. But this gets me out the house, gets me into fresh air, meet people, make new friends. Just some positive aspects of my life have been changed. There's times you get up and just think, oh, what will I do? And just sit, watch TV, have a drink. Or... I haven't got anything really to do, but since I'm 26, you know, you've got a reason to get out in the boat. Because it's a very good group and it helps ex-addicts to help themselves get back on their feet. It gives us a chance. We've all had our problems. 
I had a problem. Nobody else seems to be giving us a chance. M26 is, so I'm just grabbing it while I can, you know. It's, it's quite a depressing state to be in if, if you're jobless, if you maybe have a drug and alcohol problem. Um, if we're giving people a, a community to be with, someone to support them, someone to um, help out with their problems, then that's, that's kind of one of, the, one of the best things for me. Guys have come back on a couple of days, not just a Tuesday, but also on their own time on a Wednesday, and they've been uh, developing the garden. They've dug out a third bed, which is out there, and they've also the potatoes are coming up, and they've done a lot of bench work. The logs that they cut up from the fallen tree around the corner. They have also been looking for materials that, that they can use, such as uh, timber from a scaffolding company, and also getting uh, trying to uh, get tools from people in the community. So there's a lot of work being done. Before I just, just used to go, do nothing, just sit and watch te television. But now we're going to the club M26, there's so much activities, do a bit of gardening, as I says, like you go, maybe go on maybe canoeing, swimming. It's something to look forward to. I know it's only once a week for two hours, but sometimes it extends to four or five hours. The biggest achievement, uh, well, oh, we went on a fishing trip and I, I didn't can, I didn't know if I was going to get to go, but I did, and it was a brilliant day out. Ken. It was the best day out I've had for ages, Ken. Stuff that they've done, it's fishing, go-kart racing, um, canoeing. We've never managed to do it ourselves, you know what I mean? There's no chance we've managed to do it ourselves. I've been involved with other groups that's been attempting things like this, but they just haven't got wrong to doing it, it's the same as M26. To the, um, the final stages of the garden, or the, the end of the beginning, uh, should I say, where we're putting, we put down the wood chip and down the side and uh, the edges as well. So you can clearly see the four uh, flower beds and kind of recreational area. We might do a bit of slabbing or turf it down as well. Today they just came in and nailed it. As simple as that. They got rid of a lot of the litter, which uh, we were put in the bins. Um, a lot of the big litter. Uh, they put down the, the carpet and the wood chip. It's just been excellent. Really impressed. We've lost a few, which who first started, but they've gone on to other things. Uh, there's a couple gone on to doing uh, computer classes. Uh, there's a couple, oh, and there's, there's three joined the Alpha courses at the churches. Well, I think that the one thing about the garden is that it's, it's, it's a constant throughout the whole process. It's, it's something that if you're walking down from Martin Road and just take a glance, you can, you can see um, that what, what was once a, an overgrown weed patch is now a nicely portioned off um, garden space with wood chips on the floor and hopefully in six months time to a year's time there'll be a little bench there maybe there'll be plants growing and I look forward to the day I can walk down from Martin Road and see that. Well the future I think as Graham's probably mentioned is that um, it's just an ongoing project for them uh, to learn about gardening but more importantly it's, it's, a, it's a vehicle for engagement with the likes of Graham and Aileen and uh, Graham also mentioned it's, it's a constant along with all other activities including the shop that they're getting as well. So it's, it's the one constant with a, a fluctuating membership if you will. So it's just, just excellent, that's the future for me. Well it's been moving on, the guys have been out uh, uh, weeding on their own and they've been planting some bulbs as well. And so today is the final final session we put in some more bulbs, clearing some of the beds, talking about ideas with regards to benches and tables, and also about uh, spending some of the money that they've got off a, a grant as well. So they can work on that over the winter period. I think we've been on target. We've had other volunteer groups come in and help, and they benefited from it. Uh, but what's impressed me is that the guys have gone over and above the, the one day they have to be here to get up to this, this state. So exactly on target and looking the way that I thought it would look as well. I think there's a core group, I think it's a core group of pals anyway, which is good. Um, we've had people coming in and out, but uh, considering the, the fluid lifestyle that these guys have got, I think they've done exceptionally well. It's, um, it's been great, it's been a learning experience for me, and uh, taking on a project this big, 
but the, just the, the guys have given me quite a lot as well. It's totally changed, totally transformed. It just shows that we know our bums and hanging about doing nothing. We try to do some stuff ourselves, basically. I've enjoyed the garden project. I think it's brought the guys together. Uh, it's got a bit of camaraderie about it, Ken, and we've turned a bit of waste ground into something that's got to turn into something beautiful. I think everyone who's, who's turned up to the group at some point can, can say at least they've got um, a little piece, a piece of the garden for themselves. The biggest achievement obviously has been taking a derelict piece of, piece of land full of weeds and turn it into a, well, the makings of a, of a garden in the future with, with um, bulbs planted at least for this year and, and then plans afoot for the next year with, with vegetables. Uh, a picnic area, um, flower areas, so I think it'll be really pretty once it's all finished. I think the M26 group's been a great idea, and to fit it started, for it to what it's become is great, and long may it continue. Lay, put your weary soul to rest. Yeah, I will try to do my best to keep you safe inside this nest and keep the gravity from pulling you to earth. I'd like to say this gets more clear when it's more cloudy every day. But summer's gonna come and burn the stormy clouds and all the doubt away. Sleep, little girl, cause when you wake it's gonna be Spring is coming to an end You're not that fragile anymore I know what's there behind that door And it's just waiting in the wings to pull you in